If you're going to run the 4-4 Reaper defense, there are three things I want you to focus on teaching your kids. You want them to play fast, aggressive, and smart. I'm going to say that again, fast, aggressive, and smart. Our goal is to shut down their quarterback and their best player because we know the guy who gets the ball the most has the highest probability of turnover. So we're focusing on on their two studs. Number one thing we want to do is shut down their running game, all right? The way we do this is we're going to attack them with different blitz packages and we're going to disguise our blitzes. One of my favorite concepts to run is what we call the Alabama Blitz. This is basically a double A-gap blitz. We have both our middle linebackers here. They're going to attack that A-gap. Our tackles are going to attack the B gap, all right? What we're doing is we're putting pressure in the pocket, all right? We want to put pressure in the pocket, but guess what? The only way we're able to do this effectively, right, is to play fast, smart, and aggressive, all right? We want to be very aggressive and relentless. We want that quarterback to be thinking, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit by two guys, three guys, right? So we want this guy the quarterback, we want him flustered. We're going to have our defensive ends. They're going to attack the C-gap. And our outside linebackers, they're going to creep up. And basically, they look like this look like a 6-2 defense now, right? They're going to creep up, and we want them to be aggressive. We don't want them to come down in a bad angle. We want them to be a little wide. I always say we, we're, we're kind of like rainbow, okay? We're kind of like a rainbow. If this running back gets the ball the running back should be meeting our guy okay he should be meeting our guy if our outside linebacker is taking his angle correctly he's going to meet this guy and it's going to be nasty and physical if our outside linebacker is not able to make the tackle that's okay what we're trying to get him to do is bounce it back to the inside to our guys once he bounces it back to the inside we should be able to swarm to the ball flow to the ball, and have a great play. And we want to do this every single time. We want to play fast, smart, and aggressive. Here's another thing. If we know they are a running team and they don't have any wide receivers or many passing plays, we're going to take a risk and we're going to blitz our corners, all right? Or at the very least, they're going to play run support. They're like another outlet of outside linebackers for us, okay? We want them to attack the ball carrier ferociously. We want them to be as explosive, as physical, as violent as they can be. And then as the game goes on, they're going to start trying to pass the ball. They're going to try to make things happen. That's why we call this the 4-4 Reaper defense, because if we can shut down their running game and then make them a pass-oriented team, now we can sell like we're going to blitz, right? And then we can go back into a cloud look, because we know a lot of offenses, especially on the youth football level, they like to use this tight end. They like to use him running seam routes and, and pop passes and stuff like that, and we train for this. We, we go through these scenarios at practice, so when they see it happen, they'll be ready for it. This is why I say you better run the 4-4 Reaper defense if you want to have one of the best defenses in your league. Let's go, Beast Out.